Today we're going to be decluttering my fidget, slime, and squishmallow collection together. And let me tell you guys right now, this has been long overdue. I have been needing to do this for months, but I've just been putting it off because I have a pretty big collection of all three of these things and I knew it was going to be pretty time consuming. So I figured that today we would do it together. And I know a ton of you guys love declutter videos and I'll admit I love them too. It's so satisfying. Anything that I want to give away or that I don't use anymore or don't like anymore, I'm going to put, oh, I just messed up my nail polish. Oh, that's the worst feeling ever. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix it now. <coughs> All right, anyway. Basically, anything I don't want anymore, I'm going to be putting in this clear bin. And my goal is to have this entire thing filled up by the end of today's video. But you guys, before we get started with this, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete that five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. How many items do you think I'm going to be parting with today? And again, that is between Squishmallows, Fidgets, and Slimes. I've never done a declutter with any of those things before, let alone all combined. So this video might be pretty lengthy. So do yourself a favor right now. Go get comfy. Go grab a snack. Go get a drink. Sit back and relax because we're about to get started. Okay, so first on the list is Squishmallows. And <laughs> oh my gosh, this pile right here is just so overwhelming. My goal is not to downsize today. It's more so just to be really honest with myself and decide what things I want to keep and what things I can part with. So, okay, let's see, where do we start? I know I want to keep this turkey. I love turkeys so much and I wish I could have a pet turkey, honestly. Oh, okay, this is my favorite Squishmallow, you guys. It's a seagull with french fries. Ah, I got him from Cedar Point and I love him. This kangaroo is also one of my favorites, um, but I'm kind of missing the point of this video. I'm just talking about all the ones that I love. I got to get really honest and really tough and dig down deep. I got to get rid of some today, not gush over all the ones that I have. I can do this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what I'm up against. Okay, so here's my keep pile. Let's get really honest here though. Cardinal, yes, I love birds. Have you guys noticed a pattern? I have like so many bird squishmallows, turkey, seagull, cardinal, um, a blue jay. Yeah, keeping him. Embrace your weirdness. That's really cute. We're gonna keep that one. Ooh, this corgi was never like my favorite. Um, I think we can get rid of that one. This cute little fish and ice cream. How cute is this? Oh, I just love the colors. Here's another one of those little dogs. Um, as you can see, they're not exactly the same. This one's a little smaller with no bow, um, but I'm going to part with both of them. Okay, then I have these little butterflies. I don't need both. I'm going to get rid of the smaller one because I tend to prefer the bigger Squishmallows over the smaller ones. This fox, I feel no attachment to. I'm going to get rid of that one. Love my bird squishmallow so the eagle can stay. Not a fan of super loud and crazy colorful squishmallows. It's just never been my cup of tea. So we're gonna get rid of this one as well as this zebra because again, it has wild crazy colors and um, okay, fun fact, I tend to like the Squishmallows more that have the cute little faces, kind of like this gingerbread man or this dinosaur. You see what I mean? The two little black eyes and the simple smile. I like the way those look the most. I believe I have two cupcakes. I don't need two. So I'm going to pick the one that I like more, which is really hard because honestly, they're both really cute. But I think I might like this one more because I love the little eyelashes. This one has eyelashes too, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna go for this one though. And we're going to part with that one. Okay, this cat is cute. However, I'm not a fan of the random little graphic on it. We're gonna say bye-bye. And then the chocolate bar. Ah! Again, it's cute, but I think someone else may enjoy it more. By the way, you guys, I forgot to mention that if the Squishmallows are in new condition with the tag, then I'll more than likely be putting them in upcoming giveaways or just giving them away as gifts because 
I mean, they're still in perfect condition with the tags. It's not like I play with these or anything. I just kind of admire them and their cuteness. You know what I mean? So already this bin is like filled up. So I'm very proud, but let's keep going. This axolotl backpack. Okay. So mm, honestly, I thought that I would use this and I haven't. I haven't even used it once. So I think that means that we should get rid of it. And this would make an incredible gift. It still has the tag on it. It's never been used. So are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking of a certain person I should give this to that loves axolotls and loves squishmallows. So comment below if you know who I'm referencing. I don't want this little baby stingray because I already have a larger purple one. Hmm, okay. Here's the larger stingray. Oh, I have two eagles. I didn't even realize that. So I'm going to part with the smaller one because my big thing with any of my collections is that I really don't like duplicates. I have some larger ones just like stacked back here. I told you guys, this is a mess. Hot Mess Express. This large boba squishmallow, this is a really big one. Honestly, I've never really liked this one too much. So we are adding it to the get rid of bin. And then we have some smaller ones back here. I'm definitely going to get rid of this one as well. It's like a pig -a corn, a pig and a unicorn. And I am just not a fan. I'm gonna keep that koala. I think it's adorable. I'm also going to be parting with this little Squishmallow car. I found another one of these little rainbow foxes and I'm pretty sure I already got rid of one of these. We are going to squish her into the bin. So we're only a few minutes into this decluttering process and I am very proud. Literally this entire bin is already filled with just Squishmallows and we haven't even started on fidgets and slimes. So the good news is pretty much all of these still have tags on, which means that I can give them away to family, to friends, to you guys. So it's not like I'm just going to be throwing these away. Don't worry you guys. But what I am going to do is I'm going to dump these out over in the corner so that I can have an empty bin and then we can start decluttering my fidget collection. But I am already so happy. And now that I'm actually starting the process, it feels really good. It was just starting it that was the hard part. You know what I mean? It's like whenever you have a chore to do and you just think about it and you dread it and you dread it, but then when you actually start on it, you realize it's not actually that bad. Okay, I'm going to dump this bin and then we're going to get started on my fidgets. Two seconds later. Okay, so my main focus with all of these fidget drawers is to eliminate duplicates, eliminate anything that's broken or that I really just don't like anymore. So I think that the best approach would be to just dump it all out and go from there. Okay, so they're all spilled out and I feel like I am going to be keeping the majority of these. However, I already see two of the same fidget and that is one of my collection pet peeves. I do not like duplicates. So this one, it kind of feels like the air was let out of it. So we are going to be parting with this one and we're gonna keep the one orange pineapple. Ooh, okay, so this right here, um, we are not going to be keeping. As you can see, it's ripped and it's unfixable. The netting is hard because it looks like it also must have exploded. So bye-bye. I will be throwing that one away. Do you guys see any duplicates so far? I'm not really seeing any. And like I had mentioned, I do really love these fidgets in my collection. Um, so I think that we're already done with this drawer. So we got rid of two. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So now I am going to put all of these back. And there we go. Okay, so now that this drawer is decluttered, we are going to be going into this next one, which contains all of my DNA ball based fidgets. So I also love this drawer a lot, um, but I do know I have quite a few duplicates, so we're going to declutter it. Okay, so I just took the drawer out and I'm obsessed with this, you guys. Okay, I know that I'm supposed to be getting rid of things and not obsessing over things, 
but look at this. It's a DNA ball honey bottle and it actually smells like honey. I found this at Target. This is one of my favorite fidgets hands down and actually a subscriber sent this to me, so I love it. But as you can see, I have so many of these little DNA balls, just like the basic rainbow ones. So I'm trying to fish all of them out because I don't need all of them. The ones that I know I'm going to keep, I'm just going to put back into the bin because it's just a no brainer. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite fidgets ever. It's pastel colored and it's so full. Keep, keep, keep. Scumball machine is so awesome. Definitely a keeper. Look at how cute these little penguins are, you guys. I cannot get rid of any of them. They belong together. So it literally looks like they're full of snowballs, which is so fun. Now we are getting down to the more basic DNA balls, as you can see. And I have many, many duplicates. So we're going to be getting really honest and we're going to be going through these. Oh, they look so cool. I love these. This one is pretty cloudy and it kind of looks like all of the air came out of it. So we're gonna get rid of that one. These two right here, I do not need two of the same fidget. So we're gonna keep the one that looks like it's in better condition. And I think this one is less full. So we'll be parting with that one. I like this one because it has fall colored DNA, which is very rare. I believe this was sent to me by a subscriber. This one looks like all the air was just let out of it and it's kind of sagging, so goodbye. This has just blue and yellow DNA. Comment below what the colors blue and yellow remind you guys of, because every time I ask somebody, I always get so many different answers. Ooh, do I have this one already? I can't remember. This one lights up. It's really cool. I can't remember if I have duplicates or not. No, I have something similar. This one lights up, but it has smaller DNA. So we're gonna keep that one. Oh, but wait, I just found something out. I have two of these light up DNA balls. So I'll be keeping this one because it looks to be less cloudy. And this one I will be parting with. This DNA ball looks like it's seen better days. Uh, same with this one. Um, I really love this one. As you can see, it's still pretty clear and it has lavender DNA instead of just like the basic purple. So we'll be keeping this one. We'll also keep this one, but the rest of these are literally the exact same and there's no need for so many. <gasps> Wait, I just noticed this one lights up. See that, see that? Okay, well, because of that, I will be keeping this one, but these two can go into the bin. Wow, okay, so I definitely put a little dent in this drawer, which I'm happy about because it was really, really full and it was almost too full to the point where it wouldn't easily slide in and out. And now the third fidget drawer that we're going to be decluttering includes all of my mesh balls. So this one isn't overly crowded, but I do just wanna make sure that we're not keeping anything that's broken or damaged. So I think if there's gonna be anything in here that's broken or damaged, it's gonna be these little guys right here because I get them from vending machines and sometimes the netting comes loose and they just randomly break. So I'm going to fish all of them out. I'm gonna get rid of duplicates and anything that looks to be falling apart. Like, oh, this one for instance, look at this. You guys see this? Yeah, bye-bye, it is now garbage. Okay, so I found another broken fidget. I mean, technically it doesn't have a hole in it or anything, but the netting came loose. And not only that, but I have another one right here that is not broken. Oh wait, yes it is. This one's broken. Is this one broken? No. Okay, so we do have one that is still intact. So we will also be getting rid of this one and it has some weird stain on it as well. Um, so we don't want that. But, okay, we have two greens. This one, ooh, ew, look at it. It looks like ugh, it was either leaking or another fidget leaked onto it. Um, we're going to say goodbye to that one. And this blue one, as you can see, has seen better days. So, hate to see it go, but it is time. All good things must come to an end. I just observed that I have two of the same mesh balls. So these are really fun. They have little smiley face Themo slices, um, but there's no need for two. And wow, can you guys tell which one is more satisfying? This one. This one is way better quality. And this one, something's just not right. Okay. <laughs> 
And I think the rest of these are perfectly fine. So I'm going to put these little baby mesh balls back inside the drawer. And we're going to close that one up and move on to the fourth drawer, which contains my shaggy fidgets. Let's take the drawer out. I got so many of these from the Dollar Tree. In fact, I'm pretty sure 90% of these are from the dollar store. So we've got two little bunnies. We'll keep both of them. Oh, I love this one. It's a shaggy neato and it feels amazing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to part with this one. It just looks like it's seen better days. It's got hair on it. Um, its eyeballs are coming off. So we'll say goodbye to that one. But otherwise... I think that we can keep the rest of these. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm decluttering these today because I'm going to be reorganizing my fidget collection and doing an updated collection tour. So I want everything to be spick and span and neat and not overly crowded. Look alive for drawer number five. I can already tell you guys, I'm probably not going to be getting rid of any fidgets in here. These are all PBJs and they're definitely one of my very favorites because not only are these filled with Orbeez, which, you know, I love Orbeez fidgets, but they're so cute. I mean, the only one I'm not too fond of is this one because it's literally a butt that's supposed to poop and fart. But I'm going to keep it just for craps and giggles. <laughs> You get it? Okay. Anyway, yeah, no, I'm not going to even waste my time looking through these because I know I don't have any duplicates and I love them. And this drawer is barely halfway filled. So no need to get rid of anything. Now for drawer number six, this is one of my more filled up drawers that can kind of become overwhelming. But straight away, I notice two duplicates. These are the Cool Cat Needos and there is no need for me to have two of them. So I'll be parting with one. Oh, we have this little, what is this, a giraffe? Yeah, we got a giraffe, a little unicorn, a mango. I love the fun-shaped Neato fidgets. Now, I should probably clarify, not all of these are Neatos. They all just have a very similar texture to Neatos. I got this dragon not too long ago. It's a fire-breathing dragon, and I love him. You know what? I'm just going to dump this out to make it easier on ourselves. I have so many of these little globble things and although they don't take up that much space because they're little i only need one of each color so i am trying to find all of them from this pile i'm going to again just keep one of every color a few moments later okay so this is the little pile of baby squish balls slash baby needos even if they're not technically needos um all right so we only need one green so that means ooh, wait which one feels the best they all feel slightly different um okay no to this one no to this one i think this one feels the best so we'll put the rest in the bin i am happy with this little assortment and i will not miss those extra ones at all this is another one of my favorite drawers in my fidget collection I love these color changing ones. They are so ultra satisfying. I'm feeling pretty good about this drawer now. I know I really didn't get rid of much, um, but I'm ready to move on and go on to the drawer of pop tubes. Okay, so I just removed the drawer and I am just going to be picking out one of each color and then anything extra I will be parting with without hesitation because pop tubes for whatever reason is one fidget that I just cannot stand having any duplicates of at all. So far it looks like I just have one of every color for the jumbo size pop tubes. Now we're going to move on to the regular size pop tubes and I feel like I definitely have quite a few duplicates of these. So I'm going to start with the color red and just go in rainbow order. We have one red, orange. We have this peach colored one. So it's not the same shade though. So we're good to go. For yellow, looks like we have quite a few different variations. Okay, so this one is actually really cool. I got it from Mrs. Bench. And I'm not sure how well you can tell because of the studio lights, but it does light up. So this one is a special one. And then the rest of these... They're like different shades of yellow, so that is okay. We can keep all of them. For green, we have two of the same. So one will go into the bin and one will stay in my collection. For blue, these two are pretty much the same shade. So we're gonna get rid of one of those. This is a pastel blue and I think this one glows in the dark. We have an indigo. Ooh, we also have 
a mint green and a light pink, two different shades of purple, a white glow in the dark one, a Halloween one, and then these three shades of pink. It looks like they are all a little bit different. And then the rest of these are the mini pop tubes and the micro pop tubes. So again, we're just going to go in rainbow order. Okay, so I'm absolutely going to get rid of this red one because it literally has bite marks in it. And plus I already have another one right here. And then you guys, oh my gosh, I have three mini orange pop tubes. That is so unnecessary. So I'm keeping one and getting rid of the other two. Same with yellow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, look at all these. This is craziness. We'll keep this one and then the rest. Goodbye. <laughs> wow, this drawer needed decluttered more than I thought it did. Okay, we have all these greens. This one is like a mint green. This is a lighter green. But then these two are the same pretty much. So I'll keep this one and get rid of that one. Whoa, I have lots and lots of blues as you guys can see. So we'll keep this one and this one and this one. But the rest are just repeats. So goodbye. And now for pink. These are actually all different shades. So no need to get rid of any of those. And then we have four purple ones. But again, these are all different shades of purple. So we'll keep these. And now the last ones that are in here are micro pop tubes. So it looks like I have four of the pinks, two blue, three yellow, and one red. These are so cute nitty bitty and they don't really take up much space. I think I'm still just going to keep one of each though and I'm going to get rid of the duplicates. I guess there's really no point in having the duplicates of these unless you wanted to attach them like this and make a longer pop tube. Wow, we got rid of so many from that drawer. Literally look how much better this pop tube drawer looks. I am obsessed with these results so far. That one's going to go back. And now, okay, as you can see, this drawer of fidgets is so full. These are my puzzle type fidgets. They've got lots of Rubik's cubes and fidget cubes, fidget pads, uh, fidget spinners. There's a lot going on in this drawer and I don't use a lot of this stuff. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this is very unique. I love this, I think. I don't remember where I got this. Maybe a fidget mystery box? I can't remember. Either that or a subscriber sent it to me. It looks like I have two of these color shift balls, which is totally unnecessary. The only difference between the two is that this one has mint green and this one has like an emerald green. So I like the mint green one better. We don't need another. Okay, so honestly, I got this at the Dollar Tree when I went fidget shopping there like two years ago and the little stickers are starting to peel off and it's just not good quality. So we're going to part with that. We'll keep the Rubik's Cube because everyone needs a Rubik's Cube in their fidget collection. This is really awesome, I love this. The print of this reminds me of Jawbreakers, like the candy. Um, okay, this is called a looper and there's supposed to be a marble that goes with this. It's in here somewhere. Love this, it's so satisfying. Here's another one of those color shift balls. I don't really love these in the first place. This one has like a little button at the bottom. I don't really know what it's for, but honestly, I don't really care. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. This little Santa Claus twist up toy was fun for a while, but honestly, I don't even think it really counts as a fidget toy and he is broken. So goodbye, Santa. Okay, have you guys ever played Whack-A-Mole? This is that game in fidget formation. It's really fun. We're gonna keep that. Okay, I'm just going to take out this drawer to make it easier. This looks and sounds so satisfying. Okay, so my boyfriend actually made me these two purple star fidget spinners. Okay, so I have a giant slinky and inside of the giant slinky are smaller slinkies. And uh, there's no need for all of these, honestly. Um, I feel like they're barely fidget toys, like they are, but they aren't, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm going to ditch this little smiley face one because it looks like it costs about a penny to make and it's just really poor quality. It doesn't even do what a slinky's supposed to do. It's just kind of sitting in there, okay? Same with this. I mean, look at this. You can just tell <laughs> it is horrible quality, so... Goodbye. Okay, we don't need bouncy balls. No, thank you. What were these doing in my collection? And especially this, like, what? How, how did I let this slide? I never really understood the point of these emoji cubes 
In my opinion, they are not fidget toys. Here's another garbage slinky. Okay, I have so many of these infinity cubes and I wanna make sure that I don't have any duplicates. Um, hmm. It doesn't really look like I do. We've got baby Rubik's cubes. Okay, to be completely honest, I don't really love this fidget. I don't even know what it's called, but it spins and I don't know. I mean, you can fidget with it a lot. You can spin these around and then you can pop the little bubbles, but I don't need two of them. They're just bulky and they're just not my favorite. I don't even know which one I like better because they're both pretty ugly in all honesty, but I think I'm gonna get rid of this brown one. All right, I think everything else is good, um, but we did get rid of quite a bit. So now I'm just going to put everything back nice and neatly. And now for this little drawer. Okay, we've got so many tiny fidget toys in here and they're honestly adorable. It's basically divided up into a few different categories. We have these little spike balls, pea poppers, snappers, and then marble mesh. And oh, I forgot. There's also bike chains slash flippy chains, whatever you prefer to call them. But this drawer honestly isn't too bad. It's not filled up very high. However, for starters, we definitely don't need all of these little pea popper fidgets. Uh, yeah, there are so many of them. And honestly, I never really use these. This is an OG fidget toy and not all of them have great quality. So this one that I was just playing with is a really good one. So we're gonna keep him. But, oh my gosh, that one just broke when I tried to squeeze it. Okay, yeah, bye. This one is just so slippery, I can't even begin to squeeze it. Yeah, it's really interesting how some have better quality than others. We're just going to be parting ways with all of these, honestly, because there's no point in having all of those different ones. Uh, these ones are all very unique. They're different colors. And then this green one is see-through. And then these little peekaboo peanut fidgets, I don't really know what to call them. They are horrible, like horrible. I am trying so hard to get them to come out and they just don't, they just don't, okay? I'm gonna keep one just because, but why I have two is beyond me. Oh wait, I have two of these yellow ones. Okay, well, we don't need two, we only need one. I am not going to go through these spike balls because I think the whole point of these is to have a bunch because it feels really cool when they're all together. So we're just gonna leave those be. Marble mesh, okay. With these, I only want one of each color. I just found three different reds and we don't need all of them. So we're gonna get rid of one of those. Oh, I forgot about these acupressure rings. They were hiding under the marble mesh. Okay, so I feel like with this fidget toy, um, these take up little to no space. As you can see, I literally forgot that they were even in this drawer. So I'm not going to be going through those. Um, and then my snappers. Okay. I don't believe I have duplicates of these either. I mean, I only have like 10 of them. And as you can see, none of them are the same. So I'm going to organize these back to normal. Um, I know we didn't get rid of a ton in here, but again, the point of this video is not to downsize my collection, but rather to, well, declutter, which is the whole point of this video. So a little update. So far we have gone through nine drawers and this is the aftermath of what we got rid of. And now we're going to be moving on to the 10th drawer, which is one of the larger ones. This drawer contains all of my dimple fidgets. So these are kind of like poppets, except most of these have a hard shell and the pops are a lot more satisfying in my opinion than poppets. I'm going to start going through these. All right, we have a giant ice cream, one of the dimple digits, which is a classic. Uh-oh, we just stumbled across a broken fidget toy. So this originally was a solar system dimple, um, but Mr. Sun popped out of place. So we're gonna throw this away, sadly. I have one that's similar, um, except it's Zodiacs. The planets are still there. It just doesn't say the names of them. Which Zodiac sign are you guys? I am an Aquarius. We have to find the sun's head. Here he is. Okay, that didn't take long. So we're getting rid of him. I love this pineapple. This isn't really a dimple though. This is a hard shell poppet and I love them. Okay, I'm not really sure uh, what this dimple is. It looks like a crab kind of, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. So I am going to give that away to somebody else. There are just so many as you guys can see. Okay, so I think we are going to get rid of this guy. Oh, look, he's mad at me because I'm getting rid of him. That's actually so sad. Does anybody want him? 
I feel bad, but... Oh, he's even more sad. Well, wait, maybe I can make him happy. Mr. Octopus, would it make you happy if I gave you away to somebody that would play with you? Oh, no, he's happy. Comment below if you guys want him. Comment an octopus emoji if you want him. But okay, guys, I don't believe that I really have too many duplicates here. And we've got so many drawers to go through. And this drawer wasn't really too much of a concern for me. So let's keep moving along. Okay, this is one of the most iconic drawers of my fidget collection. It contains all of my supersized fidgets. So we've got a block of cheese. We got a dice. We got a brain. Doesn't get much more random than this, honestly. We have a marble design fidget. And we actually have two of those. They have slightly different textures, but not really. Oh, wait, we have three. Hold up. Okay, we do not need all three of these. Okay, we are going to get rid of two and we're just going to keep one. Uh, which one do you guys think is the prettiest? Number one, number two, or number three? Personally, I think that number two is the prettiest. So I am going to be getting rid of these guys. All right. And that'll also make a lot more room in here, but I'm going to put the rest away. But literally just removing these two is going to free up quite a bit of space. And now I can close this drawer with ease. Now we're going to move on to my random fidget drawer. So in here we have bubble blowing fidgets. We've got pop-up fidgets sand filled fidgets and so much more this drawer is incredibly full and some of these things i really don't use um but this is one of my favorite drawers in my collection because it is just so random and so fun lots of different textures lots of different colors and shapes and sizes this right here this dumpling squishy drives me crazy and I'll tell you why, because every time I put it in this drawer, the lid gets lost, the bottom gets lost, the dumpling gets lost. It's just a mess. I don't want to get rid of it, but it's, it's very annoying. Ooh, we got this really satisfying sunny side up egg. I do not need all these sunny side up eggs. This one is discolored and dirty and it can go. All these lizards literally are the reason that that happens. You know how I just mentioned that this is discolored? Yeah, these... Ugh. Gosh, I hate to see them go because they're one of my very first fidgets. Guys, what do I do? Do I keep them or get rid of them? Honestly, you guys, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up dividing these random fidgets between two drawers because at the very end, I have a completely empty drawer set. And I will be showing that when I do my updated fidget collection tour. Okay, these bouncy balls are completely unnecessary. They are not fidgets. So we are not keeping them and neither, uh, I don't know about this dice. It does kind of feel cool. So I guess we'll keep that one. Okay, this is pathetic. It's one of those little things that you put on the table and it's supposed to pop up. It never really did what it's supposed to do anyway. So goodbye, see you later or see you never actually. There's another one. All right, this is supposed to go in here. Okay, here's another bouncy ball. This mermaid tail, we do not need. We can get rid of that. I also don't need this banana because I already have this one. And honestly, this one is way more realistic looking. This is a pop-up banana, which is really cute. I keep finding little garbage fidgets like these. I mean, that sounds really mean, but those types of fidgets I no longer want to keep. I don't know why I kept them for as long as I did. Oh wait, guys, I have two of these little crabs. I think it's supposed to be Mr. Krabs, so we're gonna get rid of one of them because there's no need for two. Um, but okay, so I think I am going to stop here and put the rest of these back. I do really enjoy the fidgets that are in here, and yes, it's still going to be pretty full, um, but at least I got rid of those little junk fidgets, and I won't be putting things back that I no longer want. Now it's time to declutter my drawers of slime. And honestly, this is going to be very hard to do with one hand. So I think I am going to put my camera back into this tripod. That way I could see if the slimes are still good or not and I could open them and feel them. Cause as you can imagine, it's very hard to do with one hand. So I have literally five drawers completely filled of slime. There is a lot happening. So let's start going through these right now. This could be a very sticky situation and I'm kind of nervous, especially for the fate of my carpet. Okay, so we're gonna start with this top drawer and make our way down. Now, a lot of these can be reactivated, 
but sometimes they get overactivated and you know they're kind of unusable and then other times are just beyond the point of repair so first i have this rainbow glow dough and i guess this is still good i mean you know not my favorite thing but it is very pretty so i'll keep this around for a little longer oh okay i already know this slime is so liquidy it's the jelly boba from dope slimes and oh my gosh you guys ah, i'm so nervous about this oh okay not sure if you were able to see hopefully you were but it is so runny and i'm hoping that i can reactivate this got my nickelodeon slime i have 10 bazillion slimes by nicole jacqueline and i really don't think i have too many duplicates because i usually give all my duplicates to cali this is a watermelon lover slime by fair and mal and this looks like it's still good the bottom looks questionable but nothing a little activator can't fix uh-oh just as I suspected, this butter dough that I got from Learning Express is literally just garbage. It's so not doughy anymore. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of that. So the rest of these slimes, from what I'm seeing, look to be A-OK. -okay. A lot of these can definitely use some activator, but they're not past the point of repair. So we are going to put this drawer away and move on to the second one down. Two seconds later. Okay, so here we go. Drawer number two. All of the slimes I have from the Kawaii Slime Company are 10 out of 10, amazing, so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Oh my gosh, and then Twinkie Bread by Nicole Jacqueline is literally, it's dreamy. If you love the smell of birthday candles after they've been blown out, you need it in your life because that's exactly what it smells like. So I just realized that I have two Oreo Crest slimes by Nicole Jacqueline. And I'm going to keep this one because the label looks fresher than this one. So I will be giving that extra one to Callie because she loves Nicole slimes, but I just don't love duplicates. This marshmallow fluff slime is incredible. This cobweb dope slime is everything and more. So, so, so good. All right, we're gonna move on to drawer number three now. Okay, let's do this. So we have this banana nut bread slime by Nicole Jacqueline. Ugh. This makes me so frustrated. So I was going to go play with this banana nut bread slime and unfortunately somebody overactivated it. And so now it's just done. See, the thing is, if you're trying to reactivate a slime, you should do little by little, okay? Don't put in too much activator because then this happens. This slime did not arrive this way, but again, somebody overactivated it and now it is unusable. So I have to throw it away, unfortunately. And then also, sadly, this Shark Boy slime, it's literally like soup. I don't know if you guys can tell. I can't really tilt it towards the camera because it will get all over my carpet. And this one is beyond the point of repair. So we have to throw this one away as well. So I'm looking through these other slimes and it looks like I do have duplicates of the mint chip slime by Nicole Jacqueline. So I think I'm going to keep this one since it's in her OG packaging. And I'm pretty sure I got this slime the first time that we ever collaborated. So I'll keep this one and I will part ways with the other. Any other duplicates? Let me make sure that I don't have any more of the same thing. Nope, I think we're in the clear. So we're gonna put this slime drawer away and move on to the fourth one. Okay, so in here we have lots of store-bought slimes and also quite a few putties. All right, we have a Christmas Crazy Errands Hide and Seek putty a golden slime that's humongous. This has not even been opened yet. It's a Bingsu jelly cube slime. Okay, let's see if this foam is still good. Oh, nope, hard as a rock, just as I suspected. Bye-bye. Ooh, I love foam alive. I don't think this stuff ever goes bad, which is nice. Activator, which is very, very useful. I love when slime companies send you activator. But other than that, let's just check on one more because I'm kind of iffy about this gummy bear slime. Ooh, okay, wait. This is actually still an incredible consistency. And I got it from Five Below for like three or four dollars, I think. So that is pretty awesome. This drawer passed the vibe check pretty well. There wasn't really too many things I'd throw away. I think we just got rid of one thing, right? Just this? Yeah. 
Okay, now we are going to move on to the fifth and final slime and putty drawer. Here it is. I feel like all of these drawers kind of look the same. One thing I do want to get better at before I do an updated organization tour is I want to keep like the same brand of slimes together. Um, so like I'll have designated drawers for my Nicole Jacqueline slimes, my dope slimes, uh, store-bought slimes and all of that. I actually recently got pretty much all of these. So I know that they are still good. At the bottom, I just have her little slime kit from Target and it's unopened because I think it looks so cool inside the packaging. The rest of these are a-okay and I don't need to throw anything away from this drawer, which is a really good feeling. We are going to move on to my 3D pop it drawer and I have a feeling there's quite a bit that we'll be able to get rid of there. Yeah, that drawer is really full. Okay, so there is no way I could ever part with this 3D unicorn poppet that I got from my friend Nicole. It is literally so satisfying and I can fidget with it all day long. Rainbow purse poppet. I have quite a few purse poppets actually, as well as like little change purses like this unicorn. We also have a panda pencil case poppets. There's just so much to see in this drawer. I am going to part with this 3D poppet because it is not really the best quality um and it's not really my favorite color either so we're gonna get rid of that one these two are very very similar and i don't think it's necessary to have both so i'm just kind of trying to feel out which one has better quality and which one i would prefer to keep um honestly i think this one's better quality so we're gonna say goodbye to that one we've got a lot of these octopus and these two are practically the exact same thing we don't need both so we're going to get rid of one of those i'm going to put the rest of these items away and i'm definitely planning to create more space for all my poppets because as you can see they take up four drawers and um there's not much room for new ones so again i have more drawers over there in the corner that are empty but they're not going to be empty for long because i am going to be doing a lot of reorganizing which will be in my next video so stay tuned for that but wow, okay, we've got so many poppets, literally three whole drawers full. So I think the easiest way to do this is to just go through them one by one. Um, and I'll talk to you guys as I do it. This one's really cool. It's a little bunny and the pops are so itty bitty. Got a pastel crab. Um, the poppets that are more basic, like the ones that I'm putting in the corner, I'm going to evaluate them because I like the fun shaped poppets and I don't want a ton of the basic ones. Oh my gosh, I have a foot poppet. I didn't even know I had that. I'm pretty sure I have quite a few ice cream poppets and I'm not a huge fan of the coloring of this one, so I'm going to be getting rid of it. I also have a lot of unicorn poppets. There's a third unicorn. Okay, here's a ton of basic ones right here. Like, tons of them. I'll definitely be parting ways with a lot of those. I definitely don't really want this red octagon poppet just because I simply don't care for it. Literally, that's like the fifth unicorn I pulled out. I have so many unicorn poppets. It's literally a poppet mountain. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't really want this. I think it's a bunny. I don't even really know what it is, but I don't really want it. So now this is the final drawer. Oh my gosh, this one is hard to even open. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't really care for this one, this little mini one. So we're gonna say no. Yes, yes. Mm, this one has horrible pops. And I already have a bunch of really cool butterfly poppets, so no. Barbie, of course, yes. Rainbow rectangle. I feel like I probably have like 10 of those. Okay, this one is horrible, guys. Like, no offense to the poppet, but the pops are not good. So we're gonna get rid of one of them. I have a duplicate of this. I know I do. See? Yep, duplicate right there. So we're gonna get rid of that one. Oh my gosh. I have so many of these fidget poppet bracelets it's insane so i'm trying to gather all of them right now um and i'm going to definitely declutter them i can never get rid of spongebob he's a keeper this is in the wrong drawer this is a 3d poppet and it should go down there we have some poppet notebooks which are really cool 
Um, I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but I don't really want it anymore. Here's even more bracelets. I don't know what this is. It's literally like a tiny little strip of a poppet and it's very poor quality. I have so many of these bracelets. I cannot get over it. I keep thinking that I found all of them and then I just keep finding more. This is like a unicorn poppet chopper thing. I don't know, but I don't want it. All right. Um, yeah. And then... Oh, here's another one of those little things that I do not want. These are 3D octopus poppets, which again, I like to keep in a separate drawer. I think that's it for the poppet bracelets. Also, we're going to get rid of that. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Um, okay, so I like this one. I like this one. I like these. I'm going to get rid of this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Goodbye. Also... This little frog, I don't know where it came from, but I no longer want it. So I feel like we got rid of quite a few poppets, which I am happy about. So I'm going to put the rest of these away back into the drawers. And then we have six more drawers to go through together. So guys, this next drawer is very unique. I like to refer to it as my water and air fidget drawer because as you can see, most of these are water-based, but then some of them have air inside like this octopus. So I'm going to take the entire thing out and go through it. I don't see me parting with very many of these. Um, because I don't really get too many of these fidgets and I really love all of them, but let's make sure they're all in good shape. So here we have a Crystal Nita, which reminds me of Elsa. Does this remind anyone else of Elsa, the Disney princess? Let me know. Um, okay, we have a squid. This is one of those like Frisbee fidgets. And as you can see, there's beads and water inside of it. Super unique. Here's another Crystal Nita. And P.S. Which crystal needle do you guys like better? The pink or the blue? I love this little octopus. It is so cute and he even lights up. Oh my goodness, you guys. Has this exploded? Oh my gosh. I thought for sure it had exploded. This thing expanded so much. It's a water snake or a water wiggler, whatever you want to call it. But looks like it's seen better days. But as long as there's not a hole, we're not going to get rid of it. Uh, same with this. Whenever water wigglers get that bubble at the top that is a warning that they're probably going to burst very soon i'm not sure what causes it but i'm gonna have to keep an eye on these two all right this is a huge fidget um i would put it in the giant fidget drawer but i'm gonna keep it in here it's completely water-based and yeah it's really cool okay oh i just found duplicates that i was not expecting to find so i have two of these pink water donuts and i'm going to get rid of this one because i think this one looks a lot fresher uh-oh another water snake i'm always so afraid to lift them up because they burst so easily okay looks like it's still intact it has little dinosaurs and it's sparkly these things right here uh as you can see they are full of air but i don't really like them they don't really do much for me not too satisfying. Same with these Spongebob and Patrick yo-yos. Well, all you see is Patrick, but I do have a Spongebob one in here as well. In fact, I have a few, but oh, it's going to be hard to say goodbye to them. But you know what? I have YouTube videos of them, and again, they just take up space, and they're not really wonderful fidget toys at all. So we're going to get rid of them. And look, this one's completely squished. That's just bad. It looks like a raisin. Same with this. I don't even know where I got them, but we do not want them or need them anymore. This is a magma ball. I don't really think this is water-based. I'm not sure why I put this in here, but we're going to put it with the random fidgets instead. Let's see. Is that everything? No, there's two more things at the bottom here. Um, we're going to get rid of that, obviously. And then I love this. It's a little water-based yo-yo with a crab in it. So we're going to keep that. We also have a shimmer bear in here. And how gorgeous is this? I literally love it so much. And then, oh, two more duds. And then other than that, we are good to go. So I'm going to put everything back inside. Wow. Okay, literally, can I just say, 
The fidgets that we've gotten rid of so far, it literally looks like it could be someone's full collection. We got rid of quite a bit. Okay, so now we're done with this drawer and we are going to move on to one of the most fun fidget drawers in my opinion. These are all my noodle fidgets and we have a variety of different noodles in here. So I'm going to take out the bin and kind of give you guys the rundown. So my personal favorites are the ramen noodles. Technically, they're called ramen noodlies, but I don't know. That just sounds so weird. So I usually just call them ramen noodles. Um, but I honestly do not mind having duplicates of these because kind of like the spike ball fidgets, I think the more the merrier. I think it's not as satisfying if you have a small pile. So do I need to organize these better? Yes. And they were organized really well for a while. But, you know, life just happens and that's when you need to take the time to just organize everything again, which is what we're doing today. I especially love the pastel colored ones. And then I have some ones that look real that I got from Mrs. Bench in a mystery package. So other than the ramen noodlies, we have these centipedes. And I don't know why I have these in my noodle drawer. I mean, clearly they're not intended to be noodles, but they have like a similar texture and they're long and skinny and stringy like noodles. So I have a pink centipede. I have a blue centipede and a green one. Oh, they're so creepy, but I think I am going to keep them in this drawer. Um, I also have these fruit roll-ups, which honestly, I'm not really sure why I decided to put them in with my noodle fidgets because they are not like noodles at all. Um, I mean, I guess if they're rolled out, they can kind of be like them, but I have changed my mind. So uh, let's see. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss any of them. Oh, here's a green one. Yeah, so these are really fun. They are just like the fruit by the foot fruit roll-ups. I'm sure you guys have had one of those before. So I'm going to take these and I am going to put them in my random fidget drawer because I think that it just makes a lot more sense to have them over there. I do not know why I ever wanted to keep these little sticky hand fidgets in here. In fact, I don't even think I want to keep them at all. I was going to say, let's put them in the random fidget drawer, but I really don't want these. I think they are trash. So, oh, here's another one. Yeah, especially this one. This one looks like it cost a half a penny to make. So goodbye. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one reminds me of a shoestring french fry or like really thin spaghetti because look at that one compared to a regular sized monkey noodle. That's what they call these, monkey noodles. But okay, I'm trying to find anything else that doesn't belong because to be totally honest, I don't think I'm going to waste my time going through each and every one of these. I don't mind having duplicates, like I said, of this drawer in particular, but this, I don't even know what this is. It's like a squishy spike ball broken yo-yo that's dusty and crusty and musty and trash we also have these really cool little uh shaggy animal noodles i don't know what this is supposed to be i think it's a caterpillar we have dinosaur ones unicorns llamas so many i am going to be organizing all of these in my next video so i'm just gonna throw these in the drawer for now and yeah, whenever my next video goes up, you'll get to see me organize these nice and pretty. Okay, so the next drawer that we have is my drawer that's filled with tangles and snakes and zipper bracelets and all of that jazz. Oh, also, what are these called? I'm drawing a blank. What are these called? One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, it just came to me. These are called wacky tracks. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. I think these studio lights are starting to affect my brain a little bit. All right, so we have some super long ones like these two. And then we also have some fun colored ones that are more rare in my opinion. Like, I feel like you could find these at Five Below, the Dollar Tree, Learning Express, pretty much everywhere but some of them are more rare than others. I love these pink and blue ones, and I'm honestly just going to attach them to make one. There's definitely no need for all of these extra blue and greens, you know? Um, same with the orange and green. They're just very basic, and I don't need all of them. So here's what's going to happen. I am going to keep just one of each, okay? And I am getting rid of the extras, as you can see. 
Here's another one. This one, oh, this is even worse because it's mismatching. Yep, goodbye. I know you can take these apart and kind of switch, change, and rearrange, if you will. Here's another duplicate. So let's get rid of these two. Um, yeah, this will definitely free up some space. And then you guys, I already know that I do not have any duplicates with tangles. And same with these snakes. Um, I will say these are probably one of my least favorite fidget toys. I just don't think they're very satisfying, but to each their own. And then I do have some zipper bracelets. It looks like I only have one set of duplicates. Uh, this combo totally reminds me of McDonald's or ketchup and mustard. We only need one. We do not need two. So we're going to part with one of them. Okay. And then here is another duplicate we don't need. Wow. You guys, I had so many of these orange and blue wacky tracks. It is crazy, but okay. So uh, I think we did a pretty good job decluttering this drawer. So I'm going to put everything else back. Now this may just be one of the most satisfying drawers. Who doesn't love mochis? Everybody loves mochis. They're cute and they're tiny and they're squishy and they're colorful. I just love them. I love them so much. These definitely could use a good cleaning. Like, ew, don't judge me. They collect hair and dirt very easily. Um, I'm going to take out these unopens because it's just kind of throwing it off. You know, I don't like hearing crinkling. I want to just feel the satisfying squish. These really do not take up too much space because they are so little. I'm always a lot less concerned with decluttering my collections that have tiny little pieces because again, they don't take up a lot of space. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this and, oh, I was gonna say if I see any obvious duplicates, then I will, you know, just keep one of each. Um, so I just found one set of duplicates so far. I don't really like these. They aren't mochis. They're just like little donuts. There's really no point in getting rid of it though because it's kind of fun. You know, they're kind of fun to put on your finger. They're really not taking up too much space. I have so many of these. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Two glow-in-the-dark purple unicorns. We're just gonna keep one. And I'm sure there's probably way more duplicates in here, but I'm really not too concerned with these. I love mochis and honestly, I really wanna grow my collection. So we are going to stop there with these and put the rest back. And now we have two drawers left. Okay, these are really, really full. As you can see, they are my slow rising squishies. And also I have some foam stress balls in here. As you can see, yuck. Those are so unsatisfying. Um, but they're still part of my collection and we have to embrace all the fidgets, okay? They may not be my favorite, but I need them to complete my collection. We're gonna have to be really tough here, really brutally honest. I love my squishies, but I really don't fidget with them very much and they take up quite a bit of space. They are pretty large. Okay, so I have quite a few of these foam stress balls and Okay, this one's decently good. It has a little pink stain on it, which is annoying. But this one, on the other hand, you can't even squish it. Like, it's so unsatisfying. Oh, man. I don't know what to do, though, you guys, because this one looks so much cleaner and fresher, but this one's all stained up, so I want to get rid of this one. But this one feels better. Uh, I'm just going to keep them both, I guess. This bowl squishy is very, 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 very stiff, and I do not like it. So we're gonna get rid of it. I'm going to start putting ones away that I know I want to keep. Oh my gosh, I love this unicorn cake. I love all the cake squishies. I love the ice cream, love the panda. Okay, gotta start getting tough though. I have two of these globe stress balls, which is unnecessary. So I am just going to keep one and get rid of the other. I'm not the biggest fan of mini squishies. I'm gonna get rid of that purple one. I guess I'll keep the sloth. Okay, I just need to part with one of these and ah! I think it's gonna have to be this guy. You know what, he's in great shape. I could give him away. This one is more functional, so I'd rather have that one. I don't really love this rainbow football. I'm gonna get rid of it. I just want the basics. So we got the football, the baseball, the soccer ball, and the basketball. This is so cute. It's a little homemade squishy that a subscriber sent to me and it looks like ice cream. I have to keep that one. Oh my gosh, it's a shark poop. Uh, uh, bye. What the heck is this? We're gonna get rid of him. We are just about done. Look at the little tiny baby cake pop squishy. That is so cute. I've never been a fan of this pastry squishy, so we're gonna say goodbye to that one. I'm not a fan of this little keychain cupcake. I I simply just don't like poop squishies or 
poop themed anything. Never have, never will. This ice cream has like a bite out of it. I guess somebody thought it was real and uh, wanted to taste it. Okay, so now that we've done a little bit of decluttering, I think I'll be able to put these drawers inside of the organizer much easier. Let's test it out. I have one hand. Look at that. So much easier. And voila. Oh my goodness. That made such a big difference. Okay, so let me just say my arm has the biggest cramp in it right now, or I should say my wrist does, because I was holding my phone the entire time and I'm not sure how long this video was for you guys after editing, but before editing, it was literally two and a half hours. Anyways, I am so proud of how much we got rid of today. Look at all of these fidget toys. Literally, it looks like a decent sized collection. We got rid of a lot. And again, I say I'm going to be giving most of these away, um, but if they're old or they're ripped, I'm just going to be throwing them away, obviously. And then I'm going to bring you guys down here a little bit. Look at all these squishmallows. So many squishmallows that are going to make somebody else so happy. But anyways, you guys, that was all for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also stay tuned because in my next video, I am going to be reorganizing my fidget collection. And odds are, if you enjoyed watching this video, then you're also going to enjoy watching that video. So I love you guys all. Tune in back. Thank you again for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.